What's up guys, Charles Damiano here from the Bruce Lee Collection and today I'm here with my good friend Edgar Bettingor. Hey, We're going to be sharing his collection Charlie. today and of course I have my brother here, Hector Martinez! Charlie! Yes indeed! The man, the man, Edgar! There we go. Good wow. to see you bro. I'm excited man. So happy, happy to have Edgar man. Yeah, yeah, see yeah, you guys. Yeah. Great to be here. Yeah, so yes, we uh... We decided to feature Edgar's uh, collection here today. And Hector inspired me to put together this basement. So today we have a new setting here that we're filming in front of for the first time. And Edgar is the first collector that we have here in the new setup. So I'm really excited. Wow, to have congratulations, you today. bro. Very excited to be here. You yeah. broke the ice, man. I man. Came all the way from Long Island out there in Suffolk County. It's worth every mile. Long Island! Yeah, Long Island! Long Island. I'm what down here and see some of the stuff that Charles has here the, between the comics and Bruce Lee and everything. Thing. It's fantastic. It's gonna be fun, man. Very it's gonna fantastic. be fun. So, first, we're gonna start getting a little background of you. We won't yes. make it very extensive, but I know you've been collecting for over 20 years now. I want the the guys just to kind of hear a little background, who you are. I know okay. you've been friends of uh, Hector and I for years now, and you have a very eclectic collection because you not only collect Bruce Lee, but you do a variety of other things as right. well. And right. and that's what collecting is all about. I mean, yes. Hector always says yeah. it best. With, like, why do you collect, bro? Why I collect? Uh, well. I'm a preservationist. Yes. It's preserving my youth. Yeah. You know that, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. That. I mean, when you walk into your room and you see your collection, it takes you back to when you were a kid. Yep. That feeling is priceless. And as long as I can continue feeling that way, yeah. I'll continue collecting. Yeah, and it brings back the memories and experiences we had as kids, and then it gives you those feelings inside, and that's why we, we collect to this day, and I know that you have a lot of personal oh, things yeah. here that mean a lot to you. So, yes. what are we gonna start with today? I know you bought a lot of bins with you. We have five bins here <laughs> filled with collectibles from, from Edgar's collection. Well, so, what do you wanna start well, with today? We'll, we'll try uh, to break it down. Uh, let's, let, let's talk about Bruce Lee, how I started, you know, my first uh, yeah. uh, remembrance Okay. Closely, okay, I'm gonna try and do it real fast. In the 60s, since I was born in 62, by the time Green Hornet came out, it would have been in reruns if yes. you saw it. Yeah, right. But I do remember the coloring book. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Now, I don't have the coloring book, but I do remember because it, it was a neighbor of mine <laughs> in the apartment building in the Bronx that he had it, okay? Well, so let, me, now, let me bring it out. Oh. <laughs> Charlie has it. Charlie has it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Here we it's go, here we this go. This one. Woo! Look at that! Most likely it looks wow. like this one. That's one of the first Green Hornet coloring books. Now that, is this uh, a used one or is it... Uh, this one actually has coloring in it. Okay. From some, uh, some, have, some yeah. kid, yeah, actually yeah, colored in this go. one. I have one that's a little bit more uh, better condition. Right. Mm -hmm. But this this one is a second copy that I have. Awesome. But I, I remember these awesome. coloring, coloring books well, man. That's, that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. And maybe seeing the crossover during the 60s. Oh, yeah. indeed. Uh, with Batman. So that's that. And then when I moved to Queens in the 70s, mm -hmm. going into fourth grade, Grade. There was a kid in class mm. that brought in, he's, he was telling me about Bruce Lee. I didn't know who Bruce no, Lee yeah, was. Yeah. We know who Cato was. Wow. So he shows me the magazine, and it, I don't remember what the magazine looked like, but he shows me the centerfold. The centerfold was not an action shot. It was Bruce in a suit. Ah, oh, okay. And he told me, this is Bruce Lee and blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, okay, wow, that's really cool. Nice. Now, that was about uh, 72, cutting into close to 73 around that time. Mm. Um, you'd ha I'd have to ask you guys, five fingers of death, when did that start? Oh, man, 73? Yeah. Right? Yeah. When the commercials <laughs> came on yep. for Five Fingers of Death? I remember oh. the commercials, okay? That was actually September 1973. Oh. Yes. the astonishing ritual of the fires. Pale before the forbidden ritual of the steel palm. Yes. And it was the very first Kung Fu film released in the United States. Yes, it was. Right. Yeah. Okay. I well, I do that. remember the commercials. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, Fist of Fury comes out. Oh. Okay. We know it as Fist of Fury, not the mm -hmm. big boss. Yep. I was too young to go. My uncle oh. took my brother to, to go see it. Wow. And so... I wasn't able to see it, but he saw it, and he told me about it and everything, and I was like, you know, oh man, it would be great to see it. To see I don't know when Kung Fu came out with David Carradine, I think, you know. 73? Okay. Yeah, so, 73, you know, 74. All of that yep. stuff started yep. coming yep. into play with the Kung Fu. Yeah. All right? So, now we go to 
uh, my brother showing me the ad in the Daily News when Bruce Lee passes. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was that one day of showing, he points to it, and he's gone. And the little picture was there, right? Of yes. Him? And, uh, yes. It was a very small tiny, clipping. Exactly. It was small. Yeah. And it yeah. actually was so small that when I saw the paper, and I think I was 14 years old, I almost didn't believe it because I was in oh, I was in shock. Shock, yeah. You're going through the paper, and all you see is picture. I go, oh. And then it says he passed away. You almost, you're in denial. Right, right. Yeah. right. I couldn't believe it. Now, I went to see Fists of Fury, Chinese Connection, and then a couple of weeks later, in the New York Times, I saw his obituary. Yes. Oh, it's like I, 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 that's why I was shocked. Yeah. You're seeing this guy larger than life on the big screen, and then two weeks later he's, he's gone. gone. Yes. Uh, it was. Yes. Yeah, he was yeah, taken was much too fast from us, man. Of course. We were just starting to enjoy him. As Indeed. A kid. Right. All this excitement, and now he's gone. And then he's gone. Like, gone wow. too soon. Yeah. In my neighborhood, there was no emphasis <laughs> on Bruce Lee. Yeah. It was just a couple of people that were interested in it, and that was it. Yeah. Correct. You're Me, right. Me, in terms of, I don't know who he is or anything like that, but this is cool. Kung Fu is really cool. Mm. So, okay, now I'm 11 years old, all right? I'm 11 years old. I just went from the Cub Scouts, went all the way becoming a Boy Scout, <laughs> the okay? Cub Scouts. I, I told Hector this story. My first <laughs> overnight was two weeks in Pennsylvania, sleeping in a teepee tent with my brother Rick. Okay, now before we go, the, 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 the scout masters and the parents that are going to drive us there tell us that listen, guys, go and get whatever you want, some treats or whatever. It's going to be a long trip. Mm. I go into the uh, stationary fountain soda place yeah, called yeah, Oils. Yeah go in there and looking around and figure maybe I'm going to buy a comic book and what do I see? The best of Bruce Lee. Oh, so this is 1974, okay, wow. when that came out. Another classic. All right, 74 that, that came out. So I bought that magazine. Charlie has two mint copies. Mint copies. <laughs> <laughs> so I buy that magazine and that was the first time that I got to see Bruce Lee. In a magazine. In a magazine. Oh, wow. Period. 1974. Yes, because wow. you, you got to remember there were no mag. I had no magazines or anything, or and I was even looking at it. You know, I was 10, 11 yeah, years yeah. old, too young. You know, kind of not into that. Mm. You know, I was playing, uh, you know, baseball and uh, things you like that. You were doing normal right. child, child doing nine, stuff. Yeah, yeah. right. So. so. I got that magazine, and from that trip on, I was hooked. Whoa. And I was looking, and I was staring at these. You remember, magazine. I never saw any of his movies. Wow! So all I was being inspired by was the photos. Was the that photos. I photos. Isn't that yeah. funny? The yeah. impact yeah. the photos have yeah. on you as well. Yeah. yeah. Same and thing with Milton Tapp. Yes. I think he was. He never seen a Bruce Lee film mm -hmm. before. My apologies, Milton, if if I'm wrong, but I think I recall you saying that. You were impressed with Bruce Lee by photos alone. Mm. Then you saw the films. That's it. very yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Steve yeah. Wallen the same way. And yeah. Steve Wallen, yeah, same right? way. That's right. how he started painting. Right. Uh, he saw a photo first, and then he saw the film. And then he right. saw the film. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, I had a friend. We used to still go to the Bronx to visit uh, family uh, members and friends. Uh, oh. And there was a, a, a week that we went. Uh, usually during Holy Week or something like that. That mm. I was able to go there uh, with my family mm. and. We went to see our friend, went into the apartment, and in the apartment, went to his bedroom, yeah. and there was the Bruce Lee posters. Wow, wow. yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the first time I ever saw the posters. Remember that? Woo! Walking into friends' apartments, and oh, then they man. had posters everywhere. Right on the wall. Yeah. The only one I, I remember, uh, I mean, oh, there was a series of them, but was the Game of Death one, the double poster with him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, those are great. Yeah, with the yellow suit. suit. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. So that inspired me to go home, Take my best of Bruce Lee and cut it up. Oh, <laughs> we all did that. Is that why you're looking for another issue now? Because that one's all gone? It's gone. Okay. Offer him a, 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 make him Five an offer one. he can't refuse. There we go. <laughs> Edgar, come on. Show, come on, okay. baby. Show right. some stuff. All man. right. But, 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 and then, okay. People, want, so, people they want to see that. All right. Well, I'll just go moving forward. <laughs> 76, mm -hmm. okay, 1976. Um, Enter the Dragon, Hot Potato, oh, double feature. Yeah, that was the re-release. Right. Exactly. Yes. So you didn't see it in no. October of '73. No, it was too young. What's Edgar doing here? I know he's a little <laughs> younger than we are. Just I was kidding, too Edgar. young, too young to go see it. I, I you know, had very uh, disciplined parents. You know, like there you know, we go. My father was not him. He was a Western guy, John Wayne, and all that. Oh. He, he knew nothing of these action films or anything action, like action. that. But my uncle was cool, so that's why my brother was. Don't you love your that. uncles, right? Oh yes. yeah, they, they do with you what your parents <laughs> yep. forbid. Forbid. You know? But anyway, so Hot Potato got to see Enter the Dragon, and that was it. From then on, was I was able to, you know. 
connect with Bruce Lee and see him on the film. Yeah. And then from then on, was you know, go to the movies to catch the uh, re-releases of re -re yeah. uh, Chinese the, 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 the Kung Fu Festival. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Bruce Lee, they would they would play three of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. then when the Game of Death came out again, oh. they did it again. Yeah, 79. So they would do the triple features. Yeah, yeah. triple and, features. Remember and, that? Yeah, and, you don't see many. And then of those I know anymore. in your last uh, your episode, you were talking about the clones of Bruce Lee and everything. Yep. And I was not into that exploitation type thing, but I did see Bruce Lee rises from the grave. I yeah, think yeah, it is. yeah. Oh yeah, I got to see that one. Bruce Lee fights back from the grave. Right, right, yes. Right, yeah. Right. And then seeing That's... the little snippets of his eyes and this yeah, and that yeah. and everything, and then. I, yeah, and I pretty much had enough after that, got you. you know. But yeah. then, you know, uh, when I got into employment, you know, a steady job and everything like that, I would just pick up things from Bruce Lee from mm -hmm. time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, Art Asylum. Yep, yep. Was, and that came out. Art Asylum uh, in the nineties, uh, probably. Right. Yeah, yeah. And 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 so. Yeah. From that point on, there was a big gap. But I did pick up like these little things, odds and, and I'll, ends, show, yeah. I'll show you the odds and ends. Mm -hmm. But you really started collecting over the last 20 years or so, where you got a little more serious about it, and you always were picking up more. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, what I decided to do is I like the idea of having autographs. Mm -hmm. I like that. You know, mm -hmm. I like the autographs. I do like, you know, not too much on the posters, but I do have some posters. But I like, you know, I like autographs. Yeah, yeah, you no, know? and you did a great job. I don't job. have that many, but I have some that, uh, that I appreciate. So, so which one are we going to start with let's, today? Which well, we got to start from the beginning. Let's, let's, start do, from let's do it. <laughs> right here, we have the Van Williams and Bruce Lee, That's and it. it's signed by Van Williams. Yeah, he did a little personal uh, uh, inscription, inscription up here. Right I see there. it on the corner yeah. here, and I believe he says to uh, my to to Bruce Lee, my, my friend. friend. Yep. Oh, that's Cato. Yeah. Oh, you wow. See up, up there on the top. Oh. There. Yeah. yeah, this is. Did it, this come frame when you picked it up? No, no, no. Oh, I got the photo online, mm -hmm. and then I did the whole thing myself. Oh, I did a beautiful job with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. I think it's beautiful, Andrew. Yeah. I like the, the color you chose. Right. I like the fact you put the uh, hornet em yes. emblem. Yeah, the, the emblem. You yeah. did a great job yeah. with that, right? Such yeah. a great shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. a nice one, man. So wow, that, beautiful. So this pretty much encompasses me with with, with the Green Hornet and Kato. Yeah. I have another Kato photo, but uh, you know. Want to put that over there? Yeah. 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 Over there. Okay. So. Wow, beautiful. Such a great shot. So, so my moving, friend Bruce Lee. Yeah, there you go. Right? Van Williams, the Green Hornet. Yeah, yeah. very beautiful. Nice. I was a little worried at first, thinking that maybe it wasn't real or anything like that, but but it has a Oh, no, seal. no, no. Yeah, it's that's definitely Yeah, no, that's a real, that's a real yeah. photo. And he has very good penmanship, I have to admit. Yeah, Van Williams did. <laughs> yeah. He does. No, that is okay. his signature. Oh, yeah. Now we go to somebody who doesn't have very good penmanship. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that is true. So he, what's this one? He probably, oh, no. He, he probably went through how many Sharpies? <laughs> <laughs> but this is okay. This is a tie with the uh, the movie that I like with Bruce Lee between yeah. uh, Chinese Connection and uh, ah, okay. the Dragon. So those oh, two are your favorites. Those are my two favorites. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, those are definitely my two favorites. I like the action in in Chinese Connection. Um, not so much the twirling dummies and uh, the uh, oh that, that's the that's the best part <laughs> that, was, that was Bruce Lee at his strongest there you go yeah, they look like two dummies from Macy's you know, tossing you know yeah yeah that's the best part and, and then lifting up that uh, that uh, carriage oh yeah, yeah. yeah oh the rickshaw yeah, yeah the rickshaw there well, he, he yeah. tried to stay as realistic as possible but yeah. there was a that's, few uh, odds and ends that I think uh, probably Raymond Cha wanted to get in there because yeah. if it was up to Bruce yeah. he wouldn't have anything that wasn't right realistic in his oh, films, the, including well, that's, his fights. That's why I like Enter the Dragon, because Enter the Dragon, I think, I feel, would have inspired Bruce, because he didn't finish Game of Death. I think that it would have inspired him, after seeing it, if he was still alive, mm. to go back and say, listen, i got to make a more proper film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not go back to the big Yeah, well, the, 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 the standard was really, elevated at that point. Yeah. So did you get this uh, autograph personal no, from no, Bob Wall, no, or did no, you just buy no. this online? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I did not have a Bob Wall at all. Okay. And mm. the, that evening mm -hmm. that he passed away, mm. lightning struck. Mm. And I was able to get one. Oh wow! Uh, before the prices would shoot. Up. <coughs> wow! Yeah. So you purchased yeah. this just as you found out he passed away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I thought that I was going to meet him. I I, be, I figured at one of the shows, yeah. you guys would tell me, "Oh, Bob Wall's going to be there" or something like that. Yeah, and we would, we met him. Right? What, what show was that we went to? Two thousand. Uh, it was the, uh, the Chiller. Chiller, right? The Chiller yep. show. Yeah. And he was supposed to make it to the Urban Action Showcase. Yeah. 
but something happened. I believe mm-hmm. is his passing. Yep. Or was because right. oh, he we, was ill. Yeah. So. And he's a West Coast guy, right? Is he? Uh, not too sure. No? We're not uh, sure where he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you, uh, we got some photos signed from him in person, right? When we were there. I mean, he's oh, like yeah. your, action, your action figure. Oh. And, I got uh, stuff from from him on yeah. my uh, album, and uh, yeah. yeah, he's a <laughs> tell us a character. story. <laughs> tell us a story about your album. He, he messed up your name. Yeah, he messed up my name on the album, and he wrote a different name. And I go, oh, my name's not Scott or Steve. He put down, <laughs> oh my and he God. crosses it out on my a- album with a big marker. And, and he, he goes, Charlie. okay, it's not Steve, it's Charles. And he wrote this oh big thing God. about, and I still have the album. And, oh and, no! And as Hector no. says, it's a little more personalized. Yeah, it now. is. Yeah. Yeah. There's a story behind it. Yeah, I'll show a picture of it once we had this but, episode you know, but this is a great that's shot, a great yeah. shot. Yeah. 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 I was so Beautiful. happy when I got it because it's basically the fo- the picture that I would have wanted yeah that's you a great know. that's a classic one with uh, that's Bob a good Wall. shot yeah you know it was like it's like the two western guys you yeah know, like, ready to go for the draw the gladiators oh and here's the female Bruce yes. Lee oh yes yes Our no buddy. other than who's that Who's that, brother? Angela Mao. Oh, Angela no Mao. No other than Angela Mao. Lady Whirlwind. Wow. Lady Kung Fu probably has so many names. Names, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's funny because I was watching Into the Dragon just mm-hmm. recently, and I was watching the trailers, and they have her listed as international uh, champion. <laughs> I don't know, think she was. A I don't champion. think she competed. I think she was a dancer oh, from the. Uh, yeah, I don't think she competed right, either. Right, right. But she, she's our champion. Right. You know. Well, I this mean, because of because of Hector and Charlie, I was able to get this uh, autograph from her. So oh, I good for you, man. Oh, was that when we went to uh, Nan Bay Home? The Hector took yes, us to the restaurant? Yes, one of those days that I went over there Very and was able nice. to get it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I found this online again, you know, mm-hmm. from some uh, artist that he put this collage together. Actually, the artist that did this is Kung Fu Bob. There you go. Yeah, Kung Fu so Bob is a good friend. So I have yeah. two Kung Fu Bobs with, yeah, the, with yeah. Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly, oh, wow. that's really nice. So yeah. this was a personalized uh, mm-hmm. photograph by Kung Fu Bob? Well, he, so, did, he did a painting and then oh, he did some prints. Yeah. I see. Right. Yeah. He does the wow. prints. That is yeah. beautiful. Kung Fu yeah. Bob is so talented, man. Yeah. You know, he does artwork for uh, DVD, uh, Blu-ray box. We're going to see the artwork, too. Yeah, that, that's what he Let's does. Let's go see it right yeah. now. Why wow. This is okay. beautiful. That's just such so a here great we go. shot. Here's yeah. Kung Fu Bob. <clears throat> oh, another one he did. Yeah. So this one's of Jim Kelly. Yeah. No, it's not signed, but it's, it's artwork. So talk about this one so a little beautiful. bit. This one's not signed, but this is Kung Fu Bob's artwork. This is what the one he did on. Well, Angela this is Mal. what Hector is saying. That's on the uh, that would be on the uh, DVD uh, box sets and yeah, stuff. That's, that type of artwork. Yeah, Kung Fu Bob did that as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's a nice one. Yeah. yeah, I saw it. I don't know anything about Kung Fu Bob. Now yeah. I do. I, you know, it's not a chicken place. That no, <laughs> he's 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 a very it, it, Kung Fu Bob is. Uh, he looks like a wrestler. He looks like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He's a big go. dude, but he's a teddy bear. He's got a great heart. Very talented and very generous. Uh, he sent me a couple of Sonny Chiba prints That's nice. that he uh, that he he drew. Uh, his artwork is just great. Yeah, it's nice, mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's I, always you know they, they always commission him for yeah. the uh, DVD covers. Well, if they do yeah. a Jim Kelly anthology, you have the cover there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on to this uh, next photo. Let's go. So, which one do you have here? We have here the final battle scene coming up between uh, oh. Lolo and Saxon, and uh, we really oh, wanted oh. him to fight Bruce exactly, Lee. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we were waiting for that one, but we didn't get it. But anyway, yeah, that would have been interesting. Yeah. So, uh, signed by Bolo, obviously. Mm. And uh, another think, online yeah. purchase or in person? Yes, in person. Uh, okay. I have a I have another one from uh, the Chinese Hercules that Hector had gotten for me. I had uh, I didn't have the uh, opportunity oh. to meet him that time. Something came up where I had a great. A gig. A gig? Oh yeah, you yeah. didn't come with us to the Bolo convention, no, right? I missed oh, that. Oh, that. No, no, no. He was playing he, music. Yes. Yeah, he went to the Angela Mount one with us. Yeah. So yeah, I had to, right. I had to go to visit Hector and give him. My stuff. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But right, I, you well, know, but let's keep it with Bruce Lee. So, yeah, you know. Of course. And there it is. And that's that shot here. There you go. This is a great shot, man. Hold on a second. I will find someone with whom you can fight. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this morning's edification. Edification. Yes. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Han just made that up. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So sticking with the theme of uh, Enter the Dragon, here you got a beautiful one. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. This lovely. Ah. Oh, Anna. Wow. Capri. Capri. 
Yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful actress, man. Gorgeous. All right, I got this one oh. online also because she had already passed. May she obviously. rest in peace. Yeah. Okay. And the cool thing about this one is from the promo kit. Oh, okay. Because you can, you know, there's the reading under it. It actually, if you see underneath, it talks about the upcoming movie of Enter the Dragon. Oh, wow. So oh, that right. was probably in the, uh, yeah. Right. This is in, part in of the, the press, press kit. kit. Yeah, right. absolutely, yeah. 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 That's an original photo from the press kit. Exactly. Yeah. And 73 looks, Warner Bros. And you know, I, I, I wonder, because I see from the autograph, it almost looks like it's a fountain pen type of autograph. Oh, yeah. And not as much a marker. She had beautiful you know, handwriting. Yeah. So whenever she did it, you know, she did a great, you know, it's a, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's and a nice it's, shot. It's, and it's for Alan. And there's an Alan in Enter the Dragon, uh, uh, the production. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. The, the writer, I think. Uh, Alan. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, wow, I can't remember. I forget. Okay. Yeah, too, yeah, but yeah, there is. old, man. Yeah, we yeah, are. Sweet, we oh. are. It's the one that Bruce Lee didn't get didn't along with. The writer, yeah. The yeah. screenplay. <clears throat> yeah. And it says to Alan. So there you go. It's probably his. <laughs> yeah. And now you have, now you have hope, it. Let's hope that it is his. And to Alan, I have it. So if you want it back, you can pay double. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's a nice one, man. Great shot. So of those are uh, those were a lot of autographs that you had that pertain to Bruce Lee and Well, Enter, Enter the, the Dragon, Dragon right? So yeah. we just got our Enter the Dragon. Well, and, and you know, Angela Mao was an Enter the Dragon. Yep. And oh, what about this oh, one? Oh, that's a nice our one. buddy. Don't forget our buddy Roper, baby. Mr. Hairpiece himself. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Sorry, John. Now, did Yen Hua do that flip? The the, the front flip. He did. Uh, that yeah, was Yuan Hua. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. There's a lot of people that still to this day refuse to believe that Bruce Lee didn't do the flip. Oh, yes. Meanwhile, it was Yuan Hua. It was the man, yes. Yuan Hua, yes. yes. who did all the acrobatics for Bruce Lee. Yes, yes. he did. Yes. He started off in Chinese Connection. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Now we have Yuan Hua. You ready to start? And 12 weeks yeah. in Hong Kong. So okay, so this is recent from Bruce Lee Forever. Okay. Mm. And this is the stuntman from Enter the Dragon. You and Wa. Right. That we were just talking man. about. And that he did both flips. Yep. So he did, actually, you would say he did three. three. He, did a, he did a front flip for Saxon. He did the, the back flip. carousel flip. In the beginning Bob of Enter the Dragon. Oh, Bob Wall. Bob Wall, right. The back flip, yes. yes. Wow. And then he did the... The tumble salts. The, yeah. Yes. Yeah. In the beginning of yeah. Enter the Dragon. Over right. the monks. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. And in here... It's basically almost the same as the Saxon uh, photo collection. Twelve weeks in Hong Kong, yeah. Yeah, uh, you get his autograph, which uh, is that's really that's nice. a beautiful piece. It's really nice. Heck, do you have this one, right? Yeah. Steve Carriage puts together some. Uh, he does. He does the best. The best quality yeah. stuff I've ever seen. Yeah, really yeah, nice on Bruce Lee. This is. A, I believe this is a collaboration between uh, Steve Carriage and David Tadman. Yes. They yes. Put those together. And yeah. Yuan Wan's signatures in this, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's right yeah, here. It's right here. He, he yeah. did it in. He guessed he did the it in Chinese. And, and look, okay. Chinese. They put the, yeah, and he put it in the, the chop. The chop. Yeah. Okay. And look at it. Comes with some photos. Yeah, those are nice photos. Yeah. yeah. Look at that behind scenes of Game of Death. Up oh, there's yeah. This is terrific. There's Yuan Hua. Yeah, doing there the flip. There it is. Wow, look at that it's picture. Yuan Hua. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce's Not outfit. Bruce. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Nice photos. Oh, yeah. Nice photos. Quality. Printed on card uh, card stock. And then earlier, we had they had done so with uh, John Saxon. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Now, yeah. I have to ask, do you mm -hmm. have this? I don't have that do in my collection. Do you have collection. this? I don't. What the hell? <laughs> Edgar has the first one. Give me that. <laughs> oh yeah. It's nice knowing that you have something they don't. <laughs> when they you know, have, they have a mass such a collection. It's hard Edgar, it's hard to stump them. You yes. deserve, you deserve it. Yes, you do. That's a beautiful piece. So anyway, he it's a really nice fold out. Has a couple of little uh things in here that uh what oh, yeah. does it say? I can't even see on my glasses. It's but limited it's to 250? Yes, 2,500 yeah. copies. And you have number 56. Yep. Oh, 56. Yeah, 56. That's, that's, what it yeah. Says yeah. that's yeah. Joe DiMaggio's hitting streak. There oh, you there go. you go. <laughs> okay, that's. And then it comes with a couple of photos. Yeah, there. Let's really, see these photos. really nice ones. And now yep. there's a film coming out, supposedly, that his son had 
found. Oh yes. Yes. So they're going to be making a yep. uh, a little uh, Bam, documentary. That's Boo you know, and Dragons. Wow. It's going to be called. Yeah. yeah. And they're Amazing. coming out. David Tadman is doing yeah. it with Steve Carriage. Steve yeah. Carriage. Yeah. And Antonio Saxon is the one that found the footage I heard. Yeah. John Saxon's son. Son. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Found it in the archives of Saxon's home, I guess. Look and at then that. when he started going through it, he found like 20 minutes, and Carriage found out in Tadman, and, and now they're going to wow. come out with a, a book <laughs> and Just, documentary. Entry. Just when you thought you saw, you it, saw all. it all, all of a sudden there's some more. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is a great, this is a great set, man. Yeah. It would wow. be nice if they had the Anna Capri uh, Super Eight like redone over, you know, like kind of like oh, yeah. yeah. Like if they mastered it, it would have been yeah. nice. That would be you know? cool. That would be yeah. nice. Yep. There's well, that. it's up to the owner. Someone, yeah. I think a Japanese yeah. collector bought. Yeah, there. there's, there's that. And, uh, and I have to admit, this is a great shot. Yeah, you don't this see that one that much shot. where he's yeah. kicking Bob Wall in the chest. I mean, yes, really. That is so good. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, John Saxon took these with his camera. Right. And that's why they're a little bit different, yeah. right, than what you normally see. Right. Yeah. They're a li- yeah. The cam- camera angles are a little different than yeah. what you would normally see. What do you call these? Like candid shots? Yes. Yeah, can, right? Right? Can. Can. yeah. Behind the scenes. Cans. Behind the scenes yeah. shots. Yeah, because he was filming. He right. was taking the pictures as they were. So they must have been rehearsing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, My great. friend, uh, well, 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 actually, our friend, John Crudup, yes. he has the set. There's, there's a few of these things. There's mm-hmm. like three of them. Uh, three different versions. Yeah. One is John Saxon. The other one is, I don't know, uh, Way of the Dragon, yep. I believe. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so these are yeah. really nice to have. Yeah, yeah that's a great set. Let me tell you the one thing about Bruce Lee. His emotion, without speaking, mm-hmm. is amazing. It really is. Because if you were doing something like this where you were just saying, okay, we're gonna run through a rehearsal of it. Mm. Mostly if you had an actor or somebody, he would just kind of do his motion and everything yeah. like that. Right. Maybe he wouldn't put too much into it. Right. But you see the facial expressions on Bruce. Oh yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Amazing that in every picture, you just see the mouth open, the, the you know, <laughs> the, what he's doing. Yeah, I, I, like I think he really means yeah. it. Yeah. Like it's really yeah. part of it. I, I think he was a better actor than people give him yes. credit for. Absolutely. And, right. and there Absolutely. was yeah, he, he even said that. He goes, People will see from my performance not only in my skill but in my acting ability. He says that in an yeah. interview once. He could have been a real they'll, yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. see the difference in my presentation on yes. film versus all the Hong Kong people that yeah. were coming yeah. out at the time and yeah. he really did. <laughs> Pop off the screen. He, he could have been a Rudolph Valentino silent yeah. screen uh, yeah. uh, uh, movie yeah. uh, star because he just showed you yeah. his emotion without talking. Absolutely. You know, you got a point there. I was just thinking about that. Bruce Lee probably would have been as equally successful in a silent film yeah. Uh, yeah. like he was with a talking. Because right. he didn't have to speak. And right. You couldn't yeah. get he your just eyes off. He just yeah. sat there and everybody looked at him. You couldn't yeah. get your eyes off of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing. The only ones I know that had that uh, magnetism was um, uh, uh, Marlon Brando. Brando, yeah. mm-hmm. Brando, I mean Brando, you, you you just couldn't take your eyes yeah. off of Brando on the screen. Right. And another one is uh, Pacino. Yeah. Al Pacino. Yeah. Very intense yeah. look. Mm-hmm. Especially in Serpico. Oh, he did a great yeah. job in Serpico. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Amazing. All right, man. So what, what do we have next here? You have a few more here. Autographs. You have some nice collection of autographs, Edgar. Yeah. Which one's this? All right. We have here. Kuda. <laughs> Kuda. Kuda. Kuda cult. Kuda cult. Kuda cult. Right. Yep, that's right. Good old you know, Chuck Norris. Chucky. That's the character's name. Wow. It's Chuck Norris, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and and this is the classic. That's the classic pose. Oh. Yeah, with those two guys. Yep. You know? Oh, yeah. And that's what it is. You know, a, a lot of people, I was just reading some of my comments the other day, and they were saying, oh, I always look for this pose in the film, and it's not in the film. That's because this was more no. of a publicity yeah, photo, right? Publicity. Uh, yeah. What a great shot he took. Yeah. What a great it. publicity yeah. shot, man. It. It's classic Whoever now. the photographer was, oh. good good job. Yeah. Really good job. It was probably Chan Yuck. Yeah. Chan Yuck, mm-hmm. who was... Uh, he was Bruce Lee's personal ph- photographer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, he always captured Bruce Lee at the right time. Yeah, and Bruce yeah. made sure of that. He yeah. told him, I only want good shots of me. He made he, sure of that, yeah. yeah. He made Bruce look really, really good. Really good, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and uh, you know, Steve Carriage has the uh, one of uh, his magazines, Bruce Lee Forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, in one of, the, one of the covers, he's got a shot like this but a few seconds later. Oh, it's like okay. a different pose. A little different right? angle. It's always been my personal favorite wow. shot. Wow, right? yeah. Of both of them, you know? Yeah. 
right yeah, squaring off with the hands yeah, yeah. You know, china meets you know america america yeah, yeah. there you go classic cool. wow nice there one. it's yeah. really nice good no. shot bro yeah. and autograph and by, and chuck and by, chuck by chuck norris we, we've seen that there right yep. there nice so you found a lot of these online then right yeah i would have to look online because i didn't get a chance to <laughs> and what would you say these, the, these ran for what a few hundred dollars these autographs uh yeah if you yeah. were to give a range yeah. between what two well, and four hundred dollars you know, if you figure that's a classic eight by ten yeah so you know maybe a little uh, under 200 okay, okay you know under 200 that's worth it you know yeah. we know as you get bigger they yeah, get more yeah. expensive beautiful obviously crisp and uh sharp. yeah sharp. oh that's a nice shot beautiful yeah, yeah. beautiful very nice yeah. very nice which one do you want to go to next well here we go bruce lee's i don't know if he's his number one student but uh <laughs> there's two one of the yeah one of the top three him and ted wong and taki kimura but dan is the man yeah I mean, and yeah. there it is wow it's uh it's probably from one of the uh magazine or books that the bruce was putting out where yeah the, i think so saying mm. you know it's a nice shot yeah and those was, emi uyehara books yes yeah the ones yeah. produced by emi uyehara and it's and, and it's the only it's the only one of dan that i have and, oh. uh, and and even photo. I yeah. don't have any other photos of him either oh, wow. from, from Game well, of Death or anything like that. Interesting. You know? it's, it's a must yeah. for any Bruce Lee collector yes. because him yes. and Dan yes. were so associated with it's, each other. And it, It's what I call with, great I Hector about connecting the dots. Connect yeah, the dots. Yes. Connect yes. the dots. Yeah. It's not just Enter the Dragon movie poster. You're going from that to yeah. photos to autographs. Yeah, of course. To, some have the screenplay, you know, others have other things that are more personal, you know, but yeah, this, sure. is, this is great. This yeah, that's great. a nice one, man. Yeah, this is congratulations. A I, yeah, again, really another nice. online purchase. Yeah, oh. I'm, so, I'm online guy. You know, yeah, that's, it's that's okay. Yeah. It is. Hey, that's where you find things. I bought yeah. a lot of stuff online. So same here. Yeah. Right? I mean, for me to meet in a Santa would be great. You know, uh, but uh, yeah. you know, timing is everything. Yeah. Hey, one day maybe we'll get to meet him again. Hey, we got one more here that we're going to show. Okay. We actually uh, trained at a seminar at a seminar with Danny and Asante. Yeah, you told me that. I got to train. Uh, nice. Well, you know, he, he taught a seminar a couple yeah. of years ago. If I would have known, I would have invited you. Uh, it was in Queens. Oh, you went to Queens. Yeah, okay. but that was, was a long there. time ago. As, yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know, maybe yeah. like seven, eight years ago. Yeah, my connection with Hector is through our friend, mutual friend, Izzy. Izzy. And, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Good friend of mine. Another collector, years. but World War II. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, his collection is uh, crazy. Is it? Yo, yeah, yeah. All these action, uh, soldiers. He action figures, soldiers. and he's getting into the mechanisms of the tanks and everything like that, which is incredible. Yeah, yeah nice. Incredible. He is such um, a collector, too, yeah, man. Very good. Now, yeah, this is a nice shot. Look at this heck. This is a nice one, right? So, this is the other student that Bruce uh, oh, put Ted a little Wong. time uh, into. Uh, so, Ted Wong was uh, one of the original you know, students, and uh, right. he mm -hmm. taught what he calls original JKD because he tried to stick to as close to what Bruce was teaching him at that time, mm -hmm. as opposed to like Dan, which is more. JKD concept, so he mm -hmm. teaches you the concept behind the Jeet Kune Do, where Ted goes mm -hmm. and teaches you the actual skill that Bruce right. was showing him yeah, at Bruce that was time. Him, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but it was an, an evolving art; it continually mm -hmm. changed. But this is great, man. So Ted and Bruce practicing. Yeah, I got it online, and the description was it was from the Philippines. Ah, okay. So oh. quite possibly it might have been like a clinic mm. or something yep. like that that Ted Wong mm. had done, and then they were probably handing out these yeah. thing, these little uh, you know. Uh, keepsakes and oh, it's like a it. like a leaflet. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost. They, they, oh, they, they, wow. Yeah, but like, signed by Ted Wong. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's uh, good one. Never seen nice. that before. Yeah. What the you, yes, there another you one there, we'll man. We'll be saying a lot of that tonight, today. <laughs> we don't have these, yeah, man. Those I don't have none of this stuff, man. All right, yeah. well, let's get let's get this one out because this one is a classic here. I'm not really deep into Bruce Lee, like you know most uh, the collectors that are really deep into the history of Bruce Lee. But I did hear that uh, uh, Taki Kimura was Bruce Lee's uh, highest ranked student. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Ted Wong was the one that had similar moves like Bruce mm -hmm. Lee. That's what I heard. Yeah, that yeah. When no. you watch Ted Wong move, it was kind of like watching Bruce Lee. Yeah, I took a couple of seminars with Ted Wong, and I have to admit, I was so impressed of the fluidity. He moved so close to Bruce Lee. Oh, Between wow. the kick yeah. and punch, you know, you punch, go. punch, kick. Mm -hmm. It was so swift and cat-like, and if almost same weight, same height as Bruce. You know, mm -hmm. you thought you were seeing Bruce Lee in front of you. That's how mm -hmm. great he was when I ah, saw him. Ah, so it is true. Yeah. He was just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a little clip of him showing some of those skills, and you—it's just so, so beautiful to watch him. Interesting. Do that.
So what's this one, man? Okay, remember this is, uh, uh, when Deadly Hands of Kung Fu? I, I and, have uh, those, right? yes, yes. Back in 74, 75. I 74. love those issues. Yes, yeah. 74. Oh, and they yeah. were the larger size magazine. Yes. yes. They looked like comic books, so they weren't. They were the magazine <laughs> version. Right, right. And the... Uh, um, Marvel comic artist yes. Neil Adams, oh, who Adams. did a lot of yeah. covers, mm -hmm. and he was a really cool artist. And he, you know, this this image is taken from another image mm -hmm. of him in the sweatshirt from the one from Dan yes. Castano. Yes, correct. Yeah, yep. he just put the muscles on it. And everything yep, yep. Like that. You can't even see me, guys. No, that's bringing <laughs> it sideways. Edgar, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, look at that, man. That's and, beautiful. And, and, and when I bought it. I was looking at it and staring at it and saying, should I purchase it? And then I realized that the inscription down on the bottom was an actual uh, signing by Neil Adams. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a Neil Adams. Everyone wants Neil Adams yeah. uh, autograph. Yeah. 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 He did a lot yeah. of the comics. Yes, yeah. yes, yes he did. did. Very, and he did a lot of the Deadly Hands. The Deadly Hands, yes. Including, I believe he might have done the first and second cover of the Deadly Hands of issues. Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. First, Beautiful, man. Two. He also so. did my poster, the Ron Van Cleef poster. Uh, Ron Van Cleef revenges the death of Bruce Lee. Oh wow! So oh. it's Ron and my friend uh, Charles Bonet. Yes, together. Uh, he actually did that the artwork for that theatrical poster. Oh, he did. Neil yeah. Adams. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. So, so this art is back from the seventies, and uh, you know, it's a it's it's basically a lithograph, I guess you would call it, because it's just a copy of what the what what the cover looked yeah. like at the time. Is and that an eleven by seventeen? I think it's bigger. I, it's bigger, right? It might, it might be. No, I think you're bigger. right. It may, it may be 12 by 18 or 11 by 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a nice size. To it. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's a good size. That's a, a nice one. Size. I love it. When you saw it, you want to see Neil Adams' art, you want, you know, you want to get it as big as possible. Great you know, shot. You, you need an entire autograph wall, man, for all this. No, no, no. You yes. guys, you guys need. We're gonna have things. you put an autograph okay. wall wow. together in your yeah. house. There's more autographs, but other things. Oh, hold on a second. I don't have Neil's autograph. What the? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Neil Adams. No, I don't. What the? Ah! Ka ching! Ka ching! <laughs> Every time we Edgar. don't have something, uh, Edgar's yeah. going to give us a little well, Bruce Lee tie. Time. So, guys, yes. start rummaging through your stuff and, and, and let them know what you got. So, yeah. what's his okay. last one here? Okay, ah. this, is, this is new, actually. That's oh, it is? Beautiful. Yeah. Jay and Silent Bob. Silent Bob. Which his Silent. name is on here somewhere. Uh, Kevin Smith. Okay, Kevin Smith's beautiful piece. Now what it they is. did was they wanted to create a comic book. I have the comics, they're here. Mm. And this is the covers. Alex Ross, the comic book artist, mm. mostly for DC. He's a DC guy. He does a lot of the Supermans and yeah, Supermans. Yeah, and yeah. But he does Marvel every now and then. Mm -hmm. Okay, but mostly I see most of his artwork is DC. Yeah. And so he did the cover for, I believe, was six issues, I think. Oh. And this is number one. And uh, the reason I got it, and it just happens to be online, and you know, it's lightning strikes. Mm. There was, they made 10 of these that Alex Ross had signed. Oh, wow. With, with the silver ink. Only 10. Only 10. Did he sign this one? Is that his yes, signature? Yes, down there? here. Oh, right down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's down here on the bottom. The artwork is incredible. Yeah. You look, I mean, you, you see up closely, it's Burt Ward. It's, you know, it's yeah. Adam West. Face on the original. Van Williams. You look at the faces, they look exactly. This is how great uh, Alex uh, Ross is. Beautiful people. Unbelievable. Yeah, he did a great job. Yeah. It's like the, yeah. from the crossover episode. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so out of the 10 pieces, this is number one. Oh, Whoa. wow. And Hector, do you have it? Uh, no. Oh, what the hell? And I don't <laughs> either, man. And look, I like it comes with the leather letter of authenticity, authenticity. on it. Yeah, I had to put it in the back because that way you can show. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that a lot of one. framing companies yeah. do that. They do the front yeah. and then they put the uh, letter I, of authenticity. No, I on framed the back. that whole thing. Oh, I you did? That, you yeah, did a great job, that. man. That's a, that's a pretty thick frame. Wow. Now, Edgar, question for you: Is that the artwork or is that the uh, the entire comic book. No, the entire comic book is done by another artist. Uh huh. He does the covers. Oh, so that's yeah. Alex Ross does the covers. Wow. Just like Neil Adams. Yeah. Wow. Neil Adams mostly just the cover work because gotcha. they do painting and stuff like of that. Of course. So this is not the comic book with the cover on it. This is just that's the, the actual comic book. Oh, it is. That's oh, what, that's what I meant. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's there. In there. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, in there. Yeah. Okay. But I have show the other. Me. I have the other ones. You guys can see it if you want. I can show you what it looks like inside. Oh, I do wow. have the issues. Yeah. The same one. 
Yes. Oh. Yeah, except it's not number one. It's part of the, of the uh, collection. The, the series. Gotcha. Wow. Yes. The collection. Gotcha. Yes. Well, Beautiful piece, man. Yes. Well, I must say, Edgar, you Enjoy have uh, some uh, great uh, <laughs> pieces over here. Wow. And, and, and what's this one over here, though? We have this uh, little uh, Jim Kelly piece. You know, over here. I really would love to have a Jim Kelly so they can watch on me because yes. I wanted a Jim Kelly from Enter the Dragon. Yes. But I got Black Belt Jones. I see that. Look, Hector. Oh, I love yeah. Black Belt. Oh, yes. Yeah, I love I Black think Belt he, Jones. I think he borrowed the snake from Bruce Lee because he's. <laughs> Yeah, you're back. right. You're yeah. right. <laughs> He's got the yeah. address yeah. in black. He needs to borrow it, you know, yeah. for his scene. Yeah, this is you know? one of the better Jim Kelly movies when he made Black Bill Jones. I, I like love that. Yeah, Jones. I, I did yeah. too. I really enjoyed that when he yeah. came out with that. I, so you have uh, Jim Kelly on here also. Yeah. You have almost all the main people that worked with Bruce in the movies. You got yeah. all their autographs. Yeah, now, well, uh, the big question is, do you have a Bruce Lee autograph? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get a Bruce Lee autograph. No, That would be no, almost impossible. No, don't yeah. ever say that. You yeah. will. I, I don't know. I don't know. Why not? That you would, deserve one. Well, yeah. You're a collector. You know, that would, be a, that, would, that would definitely be a purchase. Of yeah, I, I picked up three during my yes. 50 years of collecting, and I, yeah. I'm getting them framed now. And when I get them framed, I'm going to probably do an entire episode on just those three. Yeah. And I may even show the process of how I framed oh, yeah. the three that I have. I'm really proud of those autographs. So in another episode, guys, you'll see the, you uh, the autographs that I'm having framed of Bruce Lee. But Hector. And you promised me something about the autographs. That one will be dedicated to you. If I ever decide to sell one, it definitely. <laughs> wow. He's first in line. He's first in line to purchase one of my three line. autographs. You are number one son. Uh, the number yes. one. <laughs> number one son. Well, this is great, man. I know we have a lot of other collectibles to go through, so Let's we're going to take a little break here. We're going to get the next uh, batch of collectibles from uh, Edgar's collection, so we'll be right back, guys. Okay. Good stuff, man. All right. Stay tuned for part two with collector and Bruce Lee fan Edgar Betancourt as he shares and discusses his vintage Bruce Lee magazines, more Bruce Lee related autographs, a few of his Marvel comics, and much, much more coming soon.